What's going on guys, it's Ben here. So in today's video we are once again going to be playing some Clan Wars. I do have to say though, if you guys did end up tuning into the stream or the video that was posted on the Clash Royale, the YouTube All-Star Clan War, I was a part of that. I hope you guys did enjoy watching it. You can see the two teams, the Royal Sailors versus my team, the Monkey Captain. So if you guys already watched it, you know the outcome, you know it was a little bit of a struggle. But I still do enjoy all the support that I got from you guys. I got a lot of tweets. I watched I watched the video as well, and I saw all the, the comments and everything. So shout out to you guys. Uh, even though our team, I'm, I'm going to spoil it here. Click off if you don't want to know the outcome just yet. Even though our team didn't end up winning, uh, and we don't really have any gems to give away from that tournament, I still am going to be hosting a bunch of 10K tournaments over the next few days. As you guys know, it's, I used to do tournaments all the time, the custom tourneys. It's basically a good way to give back to you guys for the support on the channel. But I am going to be giving away some iTunes and Google Play cards as well. Now, those have to be redeemed in the United States. So if you have a United States Apple ID, you'll be able to enter. I'll probably be giving away some of those on my Twitter and my Instagram and maybe during the streams that I'm going to be hosting these live 100 or the 100K. I wish it was 100K. The 10K tournaments. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Follow me on the social media stuff. I'll stay tuned. Like I said, it's going to be over the next few days. First 10K tournament is probably going to be in the afternoon sometime tomorrow. Uh, hopefully 12 or 1 o'clock central time. Uh, so stay tuned for that. It's been a while since I've done one. But, guys, we also did win our first clan war. As you can see down here, we have our season reward, our rank number one. So if you guys remember yesterday's video, we ended up clutching up. Uh, we only needed to get, like, two wins out of our attacks to be able to make sure the other team could not catch up. Uh, there is a way to check out my old clan wars, past clan wars. There we go. And they all have different names. Uh, you can tell me some of your clan war names, but ours is the incredible battle of friendship and the magical clash of epicness. So the first one we did end up losing um, by eight, and then we actually ended up destroying uh, the other opponents here for getting our first place. We got 36 wins, and when we clutched it, we only needed to get 33, uh, but it seems like Ecuador Conque, so it really didn't come too close. So not bad, but this new war here, still have three attacks on all of them. I am going to be opening up some more war clan, our clan war offers here. Let me turn down my volume. Throw that down. But yeah, let me know if you guys did enjoy the YouTuber Clan War stream. I, I like honestly, it was such a fun time. Uh, we couldn't really say that while we were there. That's why like we were in Finland for a while, then we came back. But hey, you guys saw the reason now, and it was awesome to see like the Clan Wars update. So we're playing some double elixir here. I'm actually gonna be using the Golem Double Prince battle deck with a rocket instead of an elixir collector, since we are gonna be in double elixir. So this is gonna be my first battle for the war try and see what happens he's gonna have spear goblins so i'm just gonna let those go and since we're in double elixir you just have to drop drop and drop the uh, triple elixir is even worse see, we're coming up against a rocket here or not rocket uh, a mortar in double elixir very interesting to say the least uh the minions i am going to actually have to tornado all of this and zap it so the zap wasn't even necessary never mind his stuff, isn't, his stuff isn't max level, it doesn't seem like. But uh, he is going to have a pretty nasty cycle of like little troops and mortars to get going through. But with a golem, I feel like I should be okay in this regard. Um, I will tornado the minion horde onto my golem so when he dies, they're going to blow up. And so I can get the dark prince there as well. So interesting to see here. I could rocket it if I really need to. And the mortar is actually going to go for the golemite, which is really awesome too. Okay. So, I'm actually going to zap the minion horde here. The minion horde is going to be the, probably the toughest card for me to deal with. For being real here. Because he has a really fast cycle. Um, he's getting a little bit of tower damage. Nothing too crazy. I have to be kind of lenient which towers that I go for. Kind of open to whatever side. Just push and go with the flow. Hopefully my mortar is going to be locked down by the... Is it? No. So, the mortar is actually locked onto the tower here. And he's going to end up pushing over on this side. So, baby dragon over here. We're, we're not looking like a good scenario spot right now, but I'm actually going to go for the tower. Tornado over here, and he actually did not even throw on the minion horde. So, I didn't get that out of the way. This is not a good spot for us, but as long as we get that prince to the tower, we shouldn't be in an okay situation. Alright, so at least we got the tower. I do not want to lose to a minion or a mortar deck right now, so... I just have to play some hardcore defense, not let it get locked on my tower, and we should be okay. But I just need to stack up on some elixir, guys. I am struggling right now. Okay. So we're getting it back a little bit. He's playing a defensive mortar. 
Um. Why not just throw on the prince over there, right? Okay, so as long as we defend this minion horde here, we'll be in a pretty advantageous situation. He's just playing the hardcore defense at the moment, so... He's probably looking for an opportunity to get into my tower. But I'm just going to try and just build this massive push and def actually defend the minion horde this time around with my baby dragon zap and all that. So, okay. He's trying to go in on my king tower. We're not trying to let that happen. So Golem did get to his king tower. Baby dragon on the other side. Hmm. Are we going to get the three crown here? I don't know. Baby dragon still alive. He is... His tower is so weak, but so are mine. This is kind of scary, boys and girls. So Golem on this side. He's probably going to try and go for a three crown right now. So we got to be prepared for this. So as long as we defend here. I think that might be his mistake. Alright, so the minion horde's gone. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the end of the game here. We just had to keep playing defense versus swarm. And finally get through there we had to look for the one opportunity where we had made mistake and it was i think finally defending that minion horde and be able to push through i mean finally got it let's see if we can get our first ever war legendary war chest legendary collection day legendary come on so still not yet we still have yet to get a legendary for this all right so after that match we are on to our level 11 account. We have enough gems to open up a Legendary King's chest. I kind of forgot that we actually already opened up these offers over here. Fortune chest, we do have a Royal Ghost and a Prince, but see what happens here. Epic Sunday, there we go. Um, I kind of want to try, I really do. I really want to try Sudden Death in a way, but here we go. As you can see, we got a hundred and 36 crowns so if you take first place you get 100 crowns or 100 war crowns and a plus whatever amount of wins you got so you want to try even if you already won your war or you already lost your war you want to just do your attacks anyways because if you win you get more war trophies uh third place i don't know what third place is i think if you get second you get 80 maybe third place is 50 some somewhere around there not entirely sure but there we go getting that rank up and we do get that new chest as you can see, that's what I kind of wanted to show you guys early. So, Sudden Death or Draft, since I am on my level 11 account, we're going to do the draft mode. So, like, card levels really don't matter. Like, if you guys are getting out-leveled hard in Clan Wars, I would say probably... I'm going to go with the Rocket here. Hopefully it doesn't have Sparky. The reason why I'm going with the... I mean, I'm going with the Lightning. The reason why I'm going with the Lightning is because it's, it's just more... I think it's more useful. Like, it can take out multiple things and... <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, so I have the counter for his balloon. He has the counter for my rocket. It's like the minion horde. This is probably... I gave him a giant balloon. If he has any sort of counter for the air, this is going to be rough. So it's not the end of the world I gave him the giant because I have the giant skeleton. So I'm just going to chill back, man. He is a, we both have pretty solid battle decks here. But yeah, if you guys are like getting out leveled in Clan Wars hard and you don't want to worry about levels, draft is the way to go because it's on tournament standard and you don't have to worry about your card levels and stuff. So, just saying. But I'm fine chilling back. I know my battle deck is heavy. And I have a decent counters to the balloon. So, we'll keep all that in mind. Put on some archers. I'm fine if it, if it gets one hit. It doesn't even get a hit. Awesome. So that was basically positive elixir trade for us there. I'll go an all in here with the hog rider. Oh no. This man's has a P.E.K.K.A. My, what is my hog rider doing? Can you get past the giant skeleton please? Thank you. <laughs> oh, that was rough. 
So, uh, he's gonna have Balloon, Pekka, Giant, mm, the Princess, Rocket. What else is this man gonna have? I don't know, but I have a balloon. I have the I have the baby dragon. So the princess is gonna be good for the minion horde. I'm hoping he doesn't have like any sort of arrows or anything. See what he has. Does he have a counter for this? Mm, kinda. Got that executioner, you know, no big deal. See if he has enough for the rocket right away. There's gonna be no way for him to get a rocket off in time. But this balloon probably will get to my tower. I was a little bit delayed on the archers. No! Oh my goodness, dude. So here comes the rocket. It has to be. The late, late on the rocket. He must have not had elixirs. Thank goodness. The goblin barrel coming out. Okay. Hog Rider getting those hits. So his battle deck is extremely heavy. Yes, he has that executioner. And the giant and everything. I don't want to give him too much value. So I'm going to throw on the Sparky over here. Just to take the tower now. He's going to have to deal with my Sparky. Otherwise, that's going to be the tower. Oh my goodness. Marvelous. Okay. Well... Working out for us. Now I just need to defend with the Musketeer. And once I get my Giant Skeleton, will be enough to stop this P.E.K.K.A. in time. Well, the barrel. The barrel, too. But I don't think that's enough time to get enough damage done in the amount of times that he has. So, he made it close. Good game, sir. I was a little scared giving him the Giant over the uh, over the, the Minion Horde. But, hey, it, it worked out. Keep in mind, guys. War Day is what matters so yes even if you do end up losing your collection day attacks it's not the end of the world it really isn't like just collaborate with your clan try and figure out oh what battle decks are going to be solid together and just help them out see if we can get the legendary dang it man no legendary out of these chests dude oh, but so far just at first glance we have pekka hog rider Dark Prince, Balloon, Execution. Our, our bread is pretty solid. So this is probably something like I'm going to be running here. Could do Lava Hound. We have a lot of good tanks. Um, Level 9, Minion Horde. Oof. The Mega Minion though too. Dude, we have a lot of good options. I might do something along the lines of this. It's going to be a little bit heavier. Um, Where is it? It's, like, it's either Log or Zap. Probably need both. Well, since I have the Zap, I think I should go with Log since I have the Minion Horde. This is kind of just a mock-up battle deck here. Uh, we'll take out one of these spells. Probably something like this. Unless I even want to be a faster, even much faster cycle. Just put a, instead a Zap in here. The reason why I have taken the Zap out because it's only level 9 right now. Um, do I have anything that's crazy out-leveling stuff? Not yet. If we get some more cards that, that are going to have like crazy levels, like level 10 commons would be nice. Like level 10 minion horde would be pretty sweet. I could throw on the balloon if I feel like it. I just feel like I need a little bit more damage here because I'm really relying on the P.E.K.K.A. here. P.E.K.K.A. Executioner isn't... It's really heavy. So... Hog Rider is level 8. So I could probably focus on a Hog Rider too. Um, I'm gonna take out the executioner guys even though it is solid We're gonna try we're gonna rock something else here Something along the lines of that for now. So that's gonna be my obviously that's just a run through in 10 seconds I'm gonna I'm gonna confer with my clans. We could do lava loon as well with like the minion horde balloon It's basically whatever my clans gonna be called level 10 level 10 minion. So yeah, Lava Hound could be nasty as well. We got Inferno Dragon. Oh my gosh, guys. Our battle are pretty solid. I'm going to do a double elixir here, though. I would love to do Sudden Death, but I don't really have the opportunity to. So we're getting into a battle. See who we face today. So it's it's at least I'm not crazy out-leveled here. Good luck, sir. Because on the main account, where we're max level, we don't got to worry about levels. Because we're max level. Get it? Obviously. <laughs> So we're usually the one that are out leveling people here. Um, he's gonna have the Mega Minion. The, I don't have an Elixir Collector in this battle deck. Oh, 
so he's gonna have the peck. Uh, I'm gonna have to defend with the golem. Not my ideal situation here. But it must be done. So at least we are kind of out-leveling him on the epic side. Because he's only got the level 5 prince and the level 5... Or level 6 P.E.K.K.A. I don't even know what level my prince is, guys. Level 7, okay. So we have him out-leveled here. Which is good for us. But he does kind of have the counter for us. But that's not the end of the world. We know how to beat P.E.K.K.A.s. We just have to shred. Shred, and plus we have card levels too, so that helps. We just have to shred with our double princes. Normally, when you're facing a P.E.K.K.A., you have to wait until double elixir to try and push past it. But since it's, since it's double elixir the entire match, we can be quite aggressive here. So now that I got my prince going, I still haven't seen any crazy spells out of this guy. I might just tornado this all together. It would be ideal if I had my dark prince. But I, I need to try and push for this tower here. The ice spirit, ice spirit nerf. So the ice spirit's not as good as it used to be. You can see that package is melting. Melting like butter, dude. He's struggling right now. So we guys gotta be on that counter, that counter aggressive push. Cause you know he's low, we know he's low, low on elixir right now. Plus I have that rocket in my back pocket. If he gets too a little bit aggressive with his, with his pushes or his troop build up stuff, he puts too much things together. Honestly, let's just do it right now. See if we can get that Mega Minion drop somewhere. Ah, uh, we, we did get the Mega Minion dropped, but it was on the other side. And I did not miss the Pekka, that's fine. Uh, is that going to come out? Probably should have waited till that Prince was dropped. But we are getting some tower damage. We do have a Tornado too, so we have very similar battle decks. Because mainly he has the Ice Spirit and also a Pekka. But Double Prince is the same. And there we go. So we're gonna get the three crown. I think our card levels, even though we both are level 11, we had the card level advantage on the guy when a lot of times it's the other way around. Come on, just show me a legendary, man. That's all I want. <sighs> the hunt continues. I wanna get a level two Lava Hound for the clan. Every other legendary is level two. Still have one more battle. So we do a draft. Draft again. Hopefully clan wars are going well for you guys. Um, princess, princess for sure. Now this is a tough call, because if I don't have anything to push with my, with my graveyard, like I don't get a tank, it's gonna be a bad, 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 bad call. I hope I don't regret that. I hope I don't regret that. <laughs> the balloon is a win condition. It is. So let's uh, hopefully I get some air troops or something. Oh no. This is not the. Uh, and he is a minor. I'm a little sad about this one. Because he can just minor my elixir collector. Okay, there we go. Let's say. So now I can drop my elixir collector and not have to worry about the minor. But the magic archer is going to be a thing. And I do have an ice wizard, so are we gonna see the balloon here? <sighs> oh no. This is gonna be rough, guys. I thought for sure I'd drop it in time when the magic archer was in range of my princess tower, but no, she's looking the other way. So that's a little bit of a misdrop, so I'm gonna take a little bit of damage here. That's fine. Uh, the balloon I'm scared of. It's gonna have minor balloon. This might be the end of us. We'll have to wait and see. I'm not gonna see a better opportunity to go in with the graveyard. So. Just trying to take the tower. Knock it three crowned, right? So we traded towers. I do have the drop on him at the moment. He does have the rocket and the miner, so my elixir collector is basically useless. I'm just gonna throw it like over here, but then it can get spear goblin. My elixir collector is honestly a useless card right now. Okay, at least we got the spear goblins out of the way. Because if he wants to rocket it, go ahead. Okay, so we're still pumped up for a little bit. 
Oh, jeez, man. This is not. This, this is fine. I'll take this any day, man. Not having to worry about that balloon now. That was my biggest fear. I'm just gonna throw this over here just so we don't like get some weird rocket range coming in. Oh no. Well. Let's see what we can do to this. Gonna get there. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Those archers, direct counters of the graveyard as well. Well, we gave it a good run, boys and girls. Although not over yet. The magic archer was getting hits on our tower? <laughs> oh, jeez. Well played, sir. So the draft just wasn't the great cards. Let's see if we can get that legendary. So no. Still hunting for the legendary. Maybe I just literally need to do my attacks earlier in the day. Um, like I said, this is probably somewhat of the deck I'm going to be running. Or Lava Hound. Because Lava Hounds might be tough to, to like counter as well. That could be pretty nasty, but it is, it is, it is, basically it's just kind of like, hopefully you don't, you don't face a counter that you guys are up against. Like hopefully I don't face the Executioner, but Executioner isn't that prevalent. So I could throw the Lava Hound Balloon in here and Minion Horde and Minions and everything. Just play some sort of bait the arrows kind of, along with this. So there's, there's options. I have options for sure. Like the Balloon is going to be nasty. Like, oh, I need the Mega Minion in there too. Boom. I don't have any too much ground troop coverage though. And I might need the fireball. What do I want to do? Like if some sort something like that, just try and dominate the air, rule the air, even though the zap might be a better option this time around. So, something along the lines of that. We'll see what happens. We'll see what the clan comes up with. So, you that Pekka could do a giant push as well. There's a lot of options we have, which is nice. It's good to have options. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sadly, we couldn't win the draft. Got some cards for the clan. Sadly, no legendary either. And I still need to open up my legendary's king's chest here. Totally left you guys hanging. But yeah, stay tuned, guys. We'll be hosting some 10K tournaments for you guys. We'll be streaming those. First one will probably be tomorrow in the afternoon central time sometimes. And then I'll be giving away some iTunes. They are for the U.S. Uh, like the U.S. iTunes store and the U.S. Google Play. I don't, I don't know a way to get outside of that. So if you don't have a US iTunes or Google Play account, you won't be able to redeem them. But I will be giving away some of those, so I apologize for those of you guys that are overseas or whatever. I just don't know how to get my hands on European codes to give away and or wherever you're from. Could be Canada codes or something like that. So I apologize with for that, but anyone anyone in the world can join the tournament. You just gotta be at the stream and try and get in because it might be a lot of people. But hope you guys enjoy the video. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys later.